morning, Greentown. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, and these are your morning announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, Greentown families. Happy Wednesday to you. If you haven't heard it already, on Monday, Governor DeWine uh, did extend the lockdown that we're all in uh, until May 1st. That is a Friday. Obviously, things can change by then, but as of right now, that's uh, what we have to look at. So we're going to be doing remote learning for the next five and a half weeks. Um, I know that your teachers are going to continue to prepare just like they have over the last couple of weeks uh, to continue your learning and um, going strong that way. We do really appreciate all the communication, all the positives that have come from families. Thank you notes, emails. Uh, we really appreciate it. We like hearing those things because obviously uh, this is a new endeavor for us and we wanna make sure that we're doing it to the best of our abilities as well. So thank you for the positive affirmations. And uh, also know that we're trying to really hone in on the important standards. So we've kind of stripped away some of the other things. Normally right now we would actually be doing a lot of test prep because the uh, OSTs, the Ohio State Test, would be coming up around the corner, actually starting April 7th of next week. But uh, as you are aware, those have been canceled this year. So um, we are going to be stripping down some of those uh, standards to really uh, get into what you need to know here over the next couple of weeks. Because like I said, we're gonna be doing remote learning now uh, for the next five and a half weeks and uh, continue that communication, continue the check-ins, continue uh, checking your email in Schoology. And uh, I know that uh, you will be successful as long as you're following your teacher's guidelines and plans. And uh, I wanna thank again our families for everything that you've done so far and our teaching staff. This has been a great start and we really appreciate all the hard work on both ends. Um, also, if you have any type of need, it doesn't matter if it's too big or too small, we'd like to help out. And uh, if you didn't know this already, even before all of uh, the uh, COVID-19 came up, uh, we had something in North Canton called the North Canton Care Team. And this is a way for us to kind of be a community liaison and get uh, resources that you might need if you're struggling with something. So please make sure if you do have a need, reach out to me, reach out to your teaching team, whoever it might be. We'd love to be able to find some ways to get you some help if that is a need. Uh, if it's food issues that are coming up with you and your family, um, please know that the North Canton Pantry, they have a Facebook page as well as a website. They're located over on the corner of Apple Grove in Pittsburgh. Um, that is a the Summit Church. They are open on, um, I believe it's every other Monday night. They were just open this past Monday, uh, March 30th from 5 to 7 p.m. And uh, if you are in need of some food, you can go there uh, during that time and it is open to you and your family uh, at no cost. And they do have some great things there to be able to go in and uh, check out. So please make sure that you check into that if you are interested in finding that um, for some food resources. And then also the North Kent Middle School is open every day from nine to one. If you pull into their back parking lot, you can get breakfast and lunch for any child 18 or under. So take advantage of that if you are looking for ways to feed your family for breakfast and lunch, especially your kiddos. That's an important one there too as well. So please reach out. Uh, don't be embarrassed. I know this is a, a struggle time for everybody. So please reach out to us. We'd love to be able to help you and get you pointed in the right direction. Even if our resources can't handle it, we will make sure that we get you in touch with someone who can. And then last but not least, um, due to health recommendations, our office hours uh, are closed at uh, the school. Um, however, there will be people in and out of the building in terms of staff uh, doing some work from there uh, remotely as well, but we won't have set office hours. So the easiest way for you to get a hold of us if you need to get into the building, say you forgot something or there's a workbook or something that you need, um, hopefully you were able to take most of those things home, but if you did forget something, please call the following number, 330-497-5601, and then dial extension 1501. Again, that's 
5601 and that's extension 1501. Uh, all of that will have to be appointment only. So if you do have uh, just a question or anything like that, you can still call that number and we'll try to help you out as well. Um, obviously the first place to start with any questions, as long as they're academic is with your teaching team, then anything beyond that, you can always call uh, that office number and we'll be able to help you out from there. That's all that I have for this Wednesday. Don't forget about Facebook Live tonight and uh, we will see you tomorrow, Greentown. Have a great day. Today's Greentown Spirit Week task of the day is to write and send a letter to an elderly friend or family member. If you think about it, take a picture of that happening and send it my way on email or Facebook. Your Spirit Week task for Thursday is to pick a neighbor and write a positive chalk message on their sidewalk or driveway and go ahead and send me those pictures as well. Here are a few of your pictures from Cooking as a Family and you can check out more on Facebook. And then tonight's the night. Join me at 8 o'clock on Facebook Live on the Greentown Facebook page. I'll be reading a book and checking in with you live. Good morning, Greentown. I sure do miss you. Uh, my project today is... Fixing the sump pump. So I hope you're having a much better time than I am. I really do miss you and hope to see you soon. Bye. Good morning, Greentown. This is Miss Miller. Allison and I just wanted to say good morning and wish you a great day of work. Uh, we love how hard you're working and we miss you so incredibly much. Keep working hard and always remember to smile. That's a good day. Bye. This has been your remote learning update with Mr. Kumpf. Have a great day, Greentown.